Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 15th through the 21st. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have? What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? What do we have for Gemini? That's not it. There's too many. We're just going to keep the two. That, oh, that was a pile. These cards are hard to shuffle. So what do we... And I don't like pulling from a bag. So what do we have for Gemini? Take that one. What do we have for Gemini? Pin, new job or career? Career. <laughs> I can't speak. I haven't been able to speak for a couple weeks now. <laughs> Not clearly. Uh, nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So this may have to, this week you may be focusing on something with your family. This is new job or career, but it could have something to do with your family. Dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend. So I don't know what that is. But um, you're going to be focusing on your home a lot. You may, you may need balance. You may need balance. You, you may need to be able to balance your career and your family. Um, I, when I see an egg, it feels like something is about to crack open. You know, it feels, it, it, you know, it's, it's about time. It's time for a birth, perhaps. Um, it may have something to do with your babies or your children this week you got something new that is coming in it says a new job but that could have to do with being a mother because being a mother is a job I don't know or a father mother or a father um, you are probably going to be dealing with another person could be a, it says pleasure with a close friend so hmm. what do we have for Gemini Four of Swords. Four of Swords is tired, exhausted. This can also be the death of a situation, the death of a person or idea. You see the Three of Swords right there. That's painful. There's probably a painful separation of some sort. Heartbroken, heartbreak, grieving, suffering. Uh, painful. Painful. Um, but it's the truth, so there's some sort of, I feel like there's, there's healing over a painful separation this week. You may not be wanting to really communicate with people. You may be tired. Goodness gracious, these, these cards are thick. Oh, there we go. And they stick. Ooh, Knight of Cups in the Death card, reverse. So holding on is getting old. There's a need to release something, a need to let go. It's time for a new life. Now, it's interesting because I said this is the death of a situation or idea. This is too. Could have something to do with a relationship. Somebody's holding on to a relationship or a lover, you know. We could also have something that is coming back from the dead. Okay, this is already ended. This, somebody could be coming back. You know, they may be offering an apology or expressing their feelings. That could certainly be happening for you. Okay, something has ended. Now somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. Um, death can also be, even in reversed, it could be a near-death experience. It could be a disaster. It could be an accident. It could be an incident. It, you know, somebody... Um, feels like something is coming back that has already ended or there could be an ending that has been prolonged somebody's been needing to let go of something but there there could be an ending here with that four of swords and the death card now the, and it could be very emotional the knight of cups represents emotion you're probably getting a proposal from somebody may come after a death, may come after an ending. I'm not sure if something has ended and now you're getting a proposal. That's what it looks like to me. 
you're probably going to be getting an offer after an ending of some sort. There's been a delay. There has been a delay. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain, but I feel as though you're going to be socializing with somebody. May want to start a new life with you. May want to... You know, this person can help you to heal. This is a healing energy with the, with the Knight of Cups. It's like somebody that is, uh, I don't know, psychic, empathic, has a lot of compassion, very loving. Six of Cups, reverse. There is, I feel like there's, there's something with the past here. Reminiscing about the past. You are definitely going to be reminiscing about the past. Now, the Six of Cups reverse can be packing up and leaving home. Could have something to do with children. Something has gone cold, and I don't know what this is, but it's like cold. Okay, I'm feeling, all of a sudden I'm feeling cold. Nothing stays the same. Somebody may be freed from their obligation, packing up, leaving home. Nothing stays the same. This is a major change that has been delayed. It has been delayed. Nine of Wands reverse. We have somebody here that has a lot of pride, has a chip on their shoulder. They've been repeating negative patterns, refusing to compromise. Nine of Coins, and the Nine of Coins is somebody that is very stable and independent and secure. This is, I feel like you are, I think this is you, I think this is you that is very stable, solid, independent, and secure. You know, and when I say independent, it doesn't mean that you're single. Some of you are single, but this means that you are independently secure. You are secure with yourself. You're going to be receiving an offer, and I don't know if this is a job offer or something, that may relinquish. There's something about re letting go of responsibilities here. Uh, some Letting go of the past. You may need to forgive. Something is coming to an end. Somebody is going to be making you a proposal after something has ended. This person has had a lot of extreme pride. They may be giving up. I feel like you're going to be receiving something. I feel like your hard work has paid off. You've persevered. Maybe you've released something. You've moved on from something. You've done a lot of healing. But that four of swords is the death of a situation. It's solitude. It's uh, a painful separation. Holding on is getting old. You're receiving an offer. You are receiving an offer or an invite from somebody. You may need to let your guard down. Page of Wands. Now this is good news. This is an offer or an invite. You are receiving an offer or an invite from somebody. But you're going to need to stay focused and take a new approach. This, I feel like this is a, you know, a new suitor. You know, so they're bringing you something that is very well suited for you. And whether this is a job situation or something, you're getting an offer that is very well suited for you. This is somebody that you have a lot in common with. And I feel like it's, it's, this is just like something that bursts into your world. It comes out of nowhere. You're definitely, this is very positive energy. It is positive. With the, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands, this is an emotionally fulfilling, exciting offer that could really, really grow. 
you're going to be getting an invite or an offer from somebody that, you know, you're going to have to follow through though. It's probably going to involve work. You may have to work. Some good news is arriving. I feel like uh, somebody, you, you may be needing to go in a new direction and let go of fear because the Page of Wands has no fear. Open your heart. Just do it. Page of Wands, just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. I think somebody that is coming, so you're, somebody is probably going to be flirting with you or communicating with you. This person is very playful. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may have been hurting or suffering in isolating yourself, not communicating, uh, putting a guard up because of the past, because of the past pain that you were in. But this is enjoying life, focusing on yourself. Some of you may be just be focusing on yourself. You know, you're focusing on the finer things. You're doing quite well. You're self-sufficient. You know, and there's an offer coming in for you. And I think it's unexpected. You may have some great personal fear. Maybe you've chosen to be independent or not open your heart or something like that. There's great personal fear here. Distrustful. Okay. You may not trust because of an ending that has left you for dead or just about killed you. But anyway, you're receiving, you're going to be receiving a message or some info, or somebody's going to be flirting with you. This could be an admirer. You know, there is some sort of admiration for you here, admiration for your strength. Because the Nine of Coins is a very strong person who has persevered by themselves. The Six of Cups reversed, though, that is. Uh... Nothing stays the same. The past is dead. And I hate to say that, but I mean, that's what it looks like to me. This is a lease, new lease on life. It's a new life. Ah, the moon reversed. Now the moon reversed is truths are revealed. This is a reality check. It's a release of fear. Fear. Something becoming very, very clear. Somebody's receiving some clarity. They've been in a place of darkness. This is seeing the light. Somebody is getting a very real offer. Okay, this is real. It's not an illusion. It's not fantasy. But there's extreme fear, extreme fear of uh, opening up by the looks of things, letting your guard down. I think you're going to be receiving something and you may, you may be like, I don't trust it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Somebody sees your stability. They see your abundance. They see your self-sufficiency. They see your strength. They see that you are abundant. They see that you are stable and solid and secure. You know, I'm not sure if this is somebody that you have dealt with in the past. They may be very fearful. They may be fearful of you, fearful of your strength, fearful of your, you know, you know, you know your value. You know this is value and worth. They may be, they may be, they may be extremely fearful of rejection, of not being accepted. Anyway, you're going to be receiving an offer that uh, is perfect. Okay, and I don't need the lovers card. I feel like it's a perfect match. But there's differences here as well. Eight of coins reversed. Now that's not putting in effort. Something not working out. We have somebody that has been uh, protecting themselves. They've been lying to themselves. 
deceiving themselves, not putting in effort. And I feel, I feel like now they're at a loss. Now they are at a loss. Knight of Swords, here they come. This is rushing in, charging in, coming out of nowhere. Somebody is coming in very, very, very fast. This is a sudden arrival of some sort. Communication coming in. This is somebody that has made a plan, is putting their plans in action. They know what they want and they're going for it. And they don't have any fear. So we have a fearless individual who is going after something right now. This is somebody that is very, very focused. And they have this desire. They have a strong desire to communicate. They have a strong desire for love, to be in a relationship. Somebody is looking for a relationship. They're looking to probably have a relationship with you. And they're taking a new approach. This could be somebody brand new or it could be somebody from your past. I feel like you've been heartbroken. That, that four of swords is isolation. It's tired. It's exhausted. It's, it's painful. I mean, the three of swords is pain. I know it's four of swords, but it's painful. So I feel like you have uh, experienced a very, it's like a near-death experience. It is. It's a near-death experience, and I. But I feel like things are about to change really, really, really fast. I think there's somebody here that didn't put in effort, and maybe it was you not putting in effort. Somebody didn't put in any effort, but this is a change. Whether it was you or somebody that you're dealing with, didn't put it. Maybe it was because of fear. Fear has hindered an opportunity for a new beginning. But I feel like that at this week things change. Get prepared. You're going to be receiving a message. You're going to be receiving a message or communication from somebody that wants to start fresh, that wants to have a relationship, that is looking for love. You, you could be invited out to go someplace. You may have to let your guard down. You may have to give it a chance. Somebody may want you to just give them a chance. My advice is to give it a chance. Now, for some of you, now the Knight of Swords can be somebody in uh, the law, okay? So we may have something to do with the law here. Um, protection. This is protection. This is a child. So I'm not sure if somebody is protecting a child as well. not putting in any effort. Maybe it's because of a child. You may have to think really, really, really fast this week because I think there's going to be a sudden change. There's going to be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. This is unavoidable. You can't avoid it. You have to face it. So whatever this is, you're going to be facing something that is, uh, you're going to have to make a choice. And I say that because I got the two of swords on the bottom in reverse. That is seeing things clearly. It's coming out of denial. It's opening up. Open up your heart. I feel like you've definitely been emotionally guarded, but you have a real opportunity for happiness this is exciting this is a suitor or an opportunity that is being offered to you that is uh, very well suited somebody is about to burst into your world and they come out of nowhere could be dealing with pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius libra gemini aquarius um even Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So everybody's here. We have a very uh, self-sufficient individual who isn't really 
you know, is really focused on themselves. This is self focused on, this is somebody that knows their value, knows their worth, just enjoying life, doing their own thing, not putting in any effort, you know, releasing the past, healing over the past, whatever, not putting in any effort, working on themselves comes out of nowhere. Something is coming out of nowhere. You don't even see it coming. So anyway, you're about to receive an offer that's going to make you happy. My, my advice is to just take it. Don't think about it. Just take it. Let go of your fear. Some of you, it has to do with money or a job. This will bring you more money. So this could, for some of you, it may be starting your own business. Maybe you've been working at a job where there's not any money or there's not any growth. You know, this could be taking a new direction, opening your own business, starting your own business. You got to let go of the fear. You have all, very capable of success. You have all the skills to be successful. So I do believe this is letting something go that has been hurting you and doing your own thing. And maybe that's what you've been doing. Either way, you're about to receive an offer that shocks you. Good luck.